Welcome back to our homestead. If you're new here, thanks for watching. We are working on our DIY kitchen countertops and we bought the stock laminate countertops from Home Depot. So a couple things before you get started. Make sure you have your laminate blade on your, on your jigsaw and so that will help you cut through this, through your count, or yeah, through your countertop. Um, and also make sure that you, met when you're measuring, you mark on the back. They'll save you hassle of trying to remove any permanent marker or any markings of that nature um, for you to cut. So we're going to put the camera aside and let you see us cut. Justin and I cut the countertops. Now once you made your cuts on your countertops, you want to go ahead and bring them in and make sure they fit properly over your cabinets. You want to use, when you install your cabinets, you want to do um, half or an inch cabinet screw, then attach it to the wall, make sure you find your studs. Then you put your countertop on and you want to also screw that to the cabinet, um, which we can show you here shortly once we go ahead and secure this. And we're getting ready to measure for our sink. Our sink did not come with a template, so we have to trace this one to get an idea of where our sink needs to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get on to tracing so then we can cut in. And you want to cut, make a cut line a quarter inch in from your trace line. So we'll go ahead and get that done and show you what that looks like. We are getting ready to take a wood bit into the countertop to start a hole to get the saw in. We have successfully installed our kitchen cabinets and countertop. Hopefully these videos helped you with installing your own kitchen. Um, some of the tips um, to go over or to just clarify again is with the sink, make sure that you do follow the instructions that are provided with your sink. Um, they should give you the, the tools and things that you need, like a template, what to use as far as sealing around the edges of your sink. Um, and then also too, when you are installing your countertop and your base cabinets, there are little triangles there should be little triangles in the corners where you would screw up into your counter and make sure you watch your size of the screw that you have to make sure that it's not too thick to where you bust out the top of your countertop if you're using the stop, stock countertop. Thanks for watching guys. If you like what you're seeing and more how-to videos, be sure to like and subscribe. Thanks guys.